Evening everyone, how are we? <coughs> Very predictable. I don't have a lot else left in the wardrobe. Get your pens and papers ready. How are we all? I tilt that down a little bit. Hope everyone's well. Just waiting for everyone to join in and then we'll crack on with a quiz. Matthew Impey, how are you pal? Ken Whitlaw, give us a dance, Jeff, here we go. What dance, dance I've got loads of that. We're spraying and we're praying. Darren Fainsworth got on Jim White's show last week, so we want to get on there, everyone, yeah? Sky Sports, got to get on there. Darren Fainsworth's come as a bloody rock star, all painted and that. Hey? You can't beat the workout, no chance. Come on, guys. Staines, how are we? Big up from Staines, yeah? Thank you very much, Kate Louise. Oh my, oh my dear Lord. Alex, have you not got any clobber like this, no? James Constable, how are you, pal? Paul Dowling, how are you, mate? You okay? Aaron Wood, my celebrations. Oh, I don't get that many goals, but when I do, yeah, we kind of celebrate hard. I hope, I wish I got more goals, to be honest, so I can do more celebrations. At Oxford, <clears throat> we've got a fence at one end, so I've said, on my last game, hopefully I get the chance to play another game after all of this, then if I score, if I don't score, but one of the lads scores, I'm going over the fence and I'm running back down the M40 to Chiswick. And that's the end of it. So, lucky they don't have a uh, stand the other end. Surely I have to do a TikTok. I can do the TikTok dance, yeah. Lucas, Matt, Dylan and John. Evening, I hope you're all well. Looking forward to the quiz. Thanks all for coming on as well. Be a good evening. <laughs> Eva Biggin, that's a great name, Billy. Josh and Lydia in Salisbury, I hope you're all well, keeping safe. Make sure you wash those hands. <laughs> Laura, I'm good, thanks. I hope you're keeping well. Now, I haven't stopped buying these kind of clothes, mate. Easy to find, like I said, second drawer down. T I took this one off the missus, but fits me well. Headband on. We're crazy. A few more minutes and then get everyone on and then we'll um, start up with a quiz. I hope everyone's well anyway and keeping safe. I'm getting bored now without any football, I know that much. I'm getting proper bored. Hence all the dancing. I can't, I can try and get my leg out. Ashcombe Forever, Jason Booker. How are you, mate? That was my old school. Michael and Rosemary. Glad to see you've stayed up for tonight. Sorry to scare you with my outfit. <laughs> spray, spray, spray. Bradley Reed, yes, I remember that goal. Great memories. Max Hayden, how are you, pal? Enjoy the quiz tonight. Get your pen and paper ready so we can get going. Happy birthday, Kevin, 54 today. You can celebrate after all of this, hopefully. Happy birthday to Sean, how are you? Hope you have a great day. I know it's tough times at the minute, but try and enjoy it. I'm trying to keep a smile on my face without having any football, it's tough, but Hence, dressing up with stupid clothes and doing mental dances, but I hope you can try and have a smile on your face at this time. James Walsh, where's your treadmill, mate? 
you need to do some exercise. Get out there, get fit, pal. <laughs> I heard Hilly had some problems with his Wi-Fi. Yeah, up in Liverpool, he'll get he'll get them troubles where he's got a massive gap up in Liverpool. So he um, in the West Wing, he was probably struggling for for Wi-Fi at the time. What a legend, Hilly! I love him. He's the best. What a player, man. What are you drinking? There's other good beer brands out there. That's one of my favourites. From Plymouth. Shane, how are you, mate? How you well? <laughs> Brandon, I am an athlete, but it's Saturday night and I'm enjoying a quiz at QPR. Thank you so much for having me on. So I thought um, I'll sneak a little beer in in between training in case uh, my current gap is in. Nah, it's all right. I can do what I want. Eddie Joe, how are you mate? Where's the Delta at? We'll get him on here, we'll get Tarbs on here one day, don't worry about that. He, he might have better clothes than me these days, but we'll get him on. Archie, how are you pal? Hope you have a good evening. Julie Allen, thanks for coming on. How's the outfit coming down? Thumbs up. Hola, Lanzarote. We've got ours everywhere. It's incredible how many people support QPR. You go all around the world and you, you see people who support QPR. Incredible, unbelievable place. <laughs> leg warmers. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't have any leg warmers actually. You'll be surprised to know. That's it, pal. Keep washing your hands. Keep sanitising. Stay safe. Cool, I'm looking forward to this, um, everyone being safe and being over, getting back to football. Jack, what's happening, pal? Here's a thumbs up for you, Jack. Love it, sir. Right, I think we're good to go with the quiz. Denmark, Denmark's on the line. See, I told you, there's ours everywhere. Right, let's have a look. Okay, is everyone ready to go on the quiz? Let's crack on. And I've got some, I've got some in, what's in your bum bag? In my bum bag, everyone, is a bottle opener for my next beer. So I'll get that later. It'll come in useful later. Okay. Right, I've got the quiz in hand, and I've got... Let me go and turn the light on, it's getting a bit dark out here. Hold on. Right, everyone, do you know what you were saying from relegation? I knew, when Aguero scored, in that Man City game, I knew that we had stayed up because the bench kind of, uh, all the fans erupted behind the goal and I was playing in right midfield and the, and the bench went up as well. So I was buzzing, but loads of the lads didn't know. Desiree and Hilly were on the floor and um, I had to pick them up off the floor and say, lads, um, we stayed up. So it was unbelievable, like crazy emotion. So. James Bergen, how many avocados have I smashed today? I love a smashed avo, mate, don't worry about that, but everywhere in Chiswick shut, mate, so I'm having to do my own smashed avo at the minute. Mackie and Derry, future managers, oh yeah, that'd be incredible, wouldn't it? Deza, Deza's brilliant coach, so I was lucky enough to work with Deza when I first went to Oxford, so I'd love to see that one day. Right, let's go with this quiz. So, Everyone got a pen and paper ready? Um, and we'll kick on. So, the first round is a football. I miss QPR as well. Thank you from the Rollingtons. Great place, loved it there. Right, so the first question is, what position 
were Oxford United in League One. Who's that, Catherine? <laughs> what position were Oxford in League One when the season was suspended? Mike Ray, I've just seen you in the hospital at the moment, pal. Um, I hope you're well, I hope you can get through this um, and you come out safe the other side and you can get back to QPR and start watching games. Wishing you all the best, mate. Right, so I'll repeat the question. What, I'm probably not gonna get through this whole quiz, I'm just gonna talk the whole time, so. What position were Oxford United in League One when the season was suspended? Right, number two. Which Premier League side did I face in the FA Cup this season? Which Premier League side did I face in the FA Cup this season? Jake, cheers pal. Cheers mate. Happy Saturday. Have a good day mate, hope you enjoy yourself. As much as you can, tough at the minute. Right, number three. Yeah, by the way, don't put the answers on here, otherwise you're not gonna win. Everyone's, got, um, I don't know if we're gonna know who's won anyway, but don't put your answers on here, keep them to yourselves. Right, and we'll go through the answers at the end. Which manager left his role as Northern Ireland boss earlier this month? Hi from Gibraltar, I hope you're all well. Which manager left his role as Northern Ireland boss earlier this month? Right, number four. Stop putting your answers, <laughs> who's putting their answers on here? Cameron, keep your answers in house, mate. You're doing well though, that was the right answer. Right. Um, Elmer from Chidit said he still wants that shirt, Jamie. Oh, I do owe him a shirt. Tell him it'll come, it'll come. I've got loads of shirts, so I'll get them out to a few people. I do owe him. Joe, hope you're well in Milford. I do miss it there, but, um, you know, Chiswick's home and being around here, we love it, but we, lo we loved it there as well, so hope you're well. Right, Eddie Howe is currently the longest serving manager in the Premier League. Apart from Bournemouth, which other club has he managed? Tony from Wales, hope you're keeping safe, pal. Make sure you're all working out. Good for the mind, good shred, tough at the minute mentally. I'm, I'm finding it tough, as you can see, like what I'm wearing and what I'm dancing in and all that, but I need to be active, mate, get out there. Have a shot. I'll get a shot with you, mate. If you get a shot, no problem. Right, um, Eddie Howe is currently the longest serving manager in the Premier League, apart from Bournemouth. Which other club has he managed? Keep the answers to yourself. Not sweat rhymes. <laughs> right. Okay. Who was bottom of the championship when the season was suspended? Luckily, not the Rs. Someone else. Who was bottom of the championship when the season was suspended? Dolores, congratulations being 20, married 25 years. If you ask my wife now, would she like to be married to me for 25 years? I wouldn't like to hear the answer. She has had a full skin full of me now. She can't wait for me to get out of the house. Okay, right. Which British team has won the European Cup more times than its own domestic top league? Which British team has won the European Cup more times than its own domestic top league? Lewis, thanks mate. I'm glad you enjoyed the shirt. Everyone, try and keep the answers to yourself. They keep popping up here. Some of them are wrong, bear in mind, but write them down. Okay, cool. So, number seven. Correct, Martin. Right, number seven. Alan Shearer is the all-time top Premier League goalscorer. How many... 
goals did he score? Was it 160, 260, or 360? Dan, Zambuka. No, not Zambuka. Um, tequila. Tequila, Saturday night tequila. Mercedes, how are you in Hammersmith? Quality, loads of QPR fans there. I live, I live around the corner, so I see them the whole time. Great place. Sam Badia Quack doing a live workout tomorrow. Was that him or was that something? Did I see that right? I'll wear this club and I'll do it, yeah. Stop putting the answers up, everyone. Pen and paper job at home. Right. Dan and Finn, how are you, mate? Callum, what's going on, mate? Enjoy the quiz. Right. Number eight. Which Sheffield United striker scored the first goal ever in the Premier League? Ryan, sorry, I'll put the question back on. Number six, uh, number seven was Alan Shearer is the all-time Premier League goal scorer. How many did he score? 160, 260 or 360? Stuart, how are you, mate? Right, number eight was, which Sheffield United striker scored the first goal ever in the Premier League? Nicola, don't worry about the general knowledge round. It's not too tough. You'll be sweet as. And anyway, the last round's QPR, so you'll smash it. Vicky Cole Richardson. Hope you're enjoying tonight. Something different breaks it up a little bit. A few other lads have been on and it um, looked great fun. So when I was asked to do it, I jumped at the chance, so... Hope you're enjoying it. Okay, right. Number nine. With which club did former QPR striker Peter Crouch end his career? Where did Peter Crouch end his career? I would have loved to see Crouchy play at um, QPR towards the end of his career. I thought that might happen, but... Obviously, he retired. That would have been amazing to see him back. What a player. BHD, big shout out. What's going on? Hope you're well. Right, let's go. Number 10. Which League One club would you find at the Pirelli Stadium? Nicky, hope you're well. Keep your questions, keep your answers to yourself. Write them down. Nicky, hope you're having a good night. They're wrong anyway, those answers. Right, which League One club would you find at the Pirelli Stadium? Okay, cool. Right, that's the end of the football round. If everyone's playing, just don't write the answers up on the screen so anyone else can see them. Just keep them in a, um, to yourself. Um, and then no one else can see them because people are playing the game, so... Enjoy yourself, but just write your answers down. Right, in between rounds, I'll do a little dance show. We're spraying and we're praying. We're praying and we're spraying. We're praying and we're spraying. I don't even know it anymore, I've lost the plot. Right. Magnus, no problem, I can go through the questions again quickly now. So. Lee, happy birthday, pal, for tomorrow, 58 years old. Um, I hope you manage to have a good day. Like I said, it's really tough at the minute, but um, hopefully you can still enjoy it in some capacity. Um, right, so to go through those first ones, because someone asked me quickly, I'll say, Jack Goodman, what's happening, mate? I hope you have a good one. Jamie, just doing a drinking round. <laughs> Gavla, I think we should just do a drinking round. I'd be better at that. Right, so the first question was, what position were Oxford United in League One when the season was suspended? Which Premier League side did I face in the FA Cup this season? Kate, hope you're having a good time. Oh, Derby, last minute, that was mental. That was in September, but it was incredible. Um, which manager left his role as Northern Ireland boss earlier this month? 
Eddie Howe is currently the longest serving manager in the Premier League apart from Bournemouth. Which other club did he manage? Dave Biddy, have a great evening mate. Martin Shannon, Andrew Powell, hope you have a great time. Okay, right. Which British team has won the European Cup more times in its own domestic top league? Mark, happy birthday pal, have a great day. Alan Shearer is the all-time Premier League goal scorer. How many did he score? 160, 260, or 360? All the Brooksies, have a great evening. Good to hear from you. Chicago, we've got supporters on from Chicago. I hope you're all well, unbelievable. That's what I'm saying, that QPR fans are everywhere. So a lot of people think QPR, obviously we've got fairly small grounds and all the rest, but honestly, there's fans everywhere. It's incredible. I, I've been on holiday before and I've bumped in, in mad places into QPR fans, so it's amazing. So, hi from Chicago. Now, which Sheffield United striker scored the first goal ever in the Premier League? Which club did former QPR striker Peter Crouch end his career? And which League One club did you find at the Pirelli Stadium? That was round one, done. Yeah, I don't know what that... Someone said my dinner's ready in the microwave. I don't know what's beeping. There's all sorts of beeping in there. I don't have a clue. I'll, I'll, um, I'll get to the bottom of it and I'll, um, or I'll, get, uh, and I'll get rid of it. I don't know what it is, though, so I'll have to investigate it. Um, right then, general knowledge round. General knowledge. Okay, which Harry Potter film is the longest in minutes? Joseph Richardson from South Africa. I hope you're well. It says you're from South Africa. Is that South Africa Road or actual South Africa? Because there's a few in South Africa Road. So if you're in South Africa, I hope you're well. And South Africa Road, I know there's loads of fans there. Brilliant. What a place. Right, number two. Oh, and I've got to do an impression now. Right, so you've got to bear If any of you get it, then you can have two, give yourself two points, right? Because this, this could be bad. Right. Who's the best? What's the best team in West London? Is that a trick question? It actually does my head in because I drive on the M40 every day to go out to training and I drive past Brentford's new ground. <sighs> does my head in. Right. So let's go. This is my impression for number two. It is true, I've had it, and I can say it is like a mugger, and we can't see it, and I need to wrestle it to the ground, and we need to do this together. So stay patient, and stay indoors, and save lives. If any of you get that, you've done well. Bad at impressions, there's another impression I've got to do as well. So that was number two. What Christmas song, this is number three, Rachel, yeah. Question one was, which Harry Potter film is the longest in minutes? Potter? Oh, Kathy's got it. It must have been all right. <laughs> we need you back at Rangers. Some form in the future. Let's hope so. I'm good friends with a lot of people there, so um, I'd love to be involved in some capacity here. when I finish playing. I love it there, you know that. Um... <laughs> That's really professional. Right. Uh, what Christmas song is the most sold music single of all time? Daniel Brown, awful mate, yeah. I knew that was awful. I'm not, I'll tell you what, I'm terrible at impressions. So. Number three, what Christmas song is the most sold music single of all time? Aaron, yeah, I've done one of my coaching badges, mate. Um, and there's more pending. I'm not 100% sure I want to go down that route, but... Um, it's good to have that option, so we'll see what happens when I finish playing. Aaron, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing some media work. I really enjoy that, so I'm hopefully going to pursue that a bit more when it when it all comes to an end. So number four, what is the capital of Iceland? Oh, I know this. One of our best players who I played with. 
big hider. What a player, what a man. I love that fella, unbelievable player. So what is the capital of Iceland? Keep your answers to yourself, remember? Joe, you're right. What is the UK's longest running quiz show? Jeff, number two was, oh no, Jeff, you've done me there. <laughs> you've done me. Kelly Kemp, I hope you're well. I hope you're having a good evening, just breaking everything up a little bit. I hope you have a good time. Right. Can everyone stop putting the answers on? Just ping them down on your piece of paper. Love it. Not that any of them are right, I don't think. Nathan, how are you, pal? Right. <laughs> who, who am I doing an impression of? Right now, get in, get in bath, son. Get in bath, son. I'm sick of sight of you. I'm sick of sight. Paddy, 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 tell him. Get in, get in bath, son. I'm sick of sight of you. Making me feel sick. Get him out, Kelly. Get him out. Right, lad. Well done. We, we're going to war. <laughs> I'm so bad at impressions, but hopefully you get that one. That was number six. Number seven. Are you still at... No, walking nice here. Right, number seven. ZN is a symbol of which chemical element? ZN. Did you not get that impression, brother? <laughs> My impressions are terrible, aren't they? No, you don't want to play charade to me. You've got no chance. Absolute no chance. ZN is the symbol of which chemical element? Right. What does a Geiger countermeasure? I don't even think that's how you pronounce it, so good luck with that one. That's number eight. What does a Geiger countermeasure? That's G E I G E R. Someone tell me if that's right, how I pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's probably not. Chris Brown, stag do, yeah, always up for a stag do, mate. I, it was my little brother's. Stag do the other day, but we had to do a virtual one on Zoom, so that was interesting. I can't tell you what went on on there, but it was good fun. Dan, you're right, yeah, my dancing's probably worse than my impressions, I get that. Josh and Lily, I hope you're well. Right, pork pie, newsboy, bucket and top are all types of what? David Weber, thank you, I did pronounce that right. That's good. Pork pie, newsboy, bucket, and top are all types of what? Gavla. Gavla. Louise, Louise Crimmins, how are you? Hope you're good. Mickey from St. Albans, how are you well? Thanks everyone for coming on. I hope you're enjoying it. Can I do number six again? Oh no, Christ. You keep doing me, whoever does that. Pauline, keep doing me. Right, okay. That is the end of the general knowledge one. Does anyone, anyone need to hear them again? Bar number six and number two. <laughs> oh, Troy, Italy QPR pre-season tour and stressor. That was a good trip. Lots of hard work, very sensible, um, in our rooms early, lots of work done, good team bonding at time, good trip. Jamie shows the cross-eyed dragon, yeah, I've got, my tattoos are absolutely horrendous. This one here, if you can see, he's been drinking the dragon because he's got a funny eye. But anyway.
Right. Do, do, did you do number 10? No, I didn't have a number 10. I didn't have a number 10, everyone, right? So this one now is all about QPR. Eddie Joe, how are you, mate? I hope you are. I don't, we, I don't have a number 10. Jamie, how are you, mate? I only done nine questions for that one, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. I'll go through all the questions again at the end, if you want me to. So, this one's a QPR round, so I'm expecting 10 out of 10 out of all of you. I'm sure you will. Casper. Everyone, Casper Gorks is on. What a legend, man. Casper, I hope you're well, pal. How hope you're doing good, man. I saw your Instagram the other day. Nine years ago, mate, since we got promoted. Incredible. I hope you're well, mate. What a ledge. Right. Sam Fox. I hope you're well. I'll go, Paul, I'll go through um, all the questions again and maybe I can do an impression for someone if you want me to do an impression for, for the 10th question in the general knowledge. I'll do that at the end. Okay, cool. So the QPR round is... I scored a late leveller in the 2-2 draw at Derby in 2010. When we came back from 2-0 down, but who got our first goal to make it 2-1? So, I scored the leveller 2 all at Derby when we came back from 2-0 down, but who got the first goal? Casper, cheers mate. Casper, look at this pal. You wouldn't ever talk to me and have a coffee on the high street like this, would you? <laughs> Casper's probably watching this with a bandage on his head. How many goals did I score in our promotion winning season of 2010-11? 8, 9 or 13? Correct, you could do with Gorksy now in defence. Gorksy was a rock, mate. So how many goals did I score in the season when we got promoted, 2010-2011? Eight, nine, or 13? Right. Number three. Swansea and who else were promoted with us in 2010-2011? Who were promoted with us in 2010-2011? Supporting the NHS, Mike, unbelievable mate. What a job they're doing, incredible, proper heroes. What a job they're doing. Joe Hilton, Joe Hilton, you're right. Casper, top rangers. Good to have you on, mate. Don't leave. <laughs> Who wears the squad number 19 in our current QPR squad? Gavlo, you're right, mate. I do need one. Who wears our number 19 shirt in the current QPR squad? Bradley Jenkins down in Devon. Hope you're well, mate. Devon, great part of the world. That's where I met my wife, so I've got to say that. But it is a great part of the world. I hope you're well down there, mate. Cheers, Gavla. Right. Where did QPR sign Mike Pugh from? Where did QPR sign Mark Pugh from? That was number five. Where did QPR sign Mark Pugh from? Harriet, hope you're well down in Exeter. Gavla. Right. 
Right, number six. We clinch promotion. Uh, we clinched promotion in 2010-11 with a 2-0 win at Watford. Who scored our first goal at Vicarage Road? I can't believe that was nine years ago, I think. We clinched promotion in 2010-2011 with a 2-0 win at Watford. Who scored our first goal at QPR? Daisy Ginger, how are you? Aaron, have I checked out Mark Hughes' dishes? Yeah, I mean, one of the lads said that he's, um, Jordan, how are you, mate? Um, bang into his food. I think his profile's the foodie footballer, so I think he's, I've heard he's top pro in great shape and he, he loves doing his food, so I'll have to check it out. Who did I join after leaving QPR in 2018? Who did I sign for after leaving QPR in 2018? Tell us your best Adele story. <laughs> Adele, what a player, man. He was ridiculous that year. Unbelievable. Glenn in America. Incredible, there's so many eyes in America. I think there's a supporters club in New York. And I think there's a few, a few other ones. 2010, the best season of my life, loved it. How was Targs to play with? Well, he was just ridiculous, wasn't he? Sometimes I just watch, you just give him the ball. Especially in that season, just give him the ball and then he, um, he'll do something mental and you can just watch and laugh. So, yeah, incredible talent. Number eight, who am I? I joined QPR in 2008 following an initial loan, a loan spell and stayed at Loftus Road until 2014. I scored three goals in our 2010-11 promotion winning season. Malcolm, I hope you enjoyed it mate. So who am I? I joined QPR in 2008 following an initial loan and stayed at Loftus Road until 2014. I scored three goals in our 2010-11 promotion winning season. Jordan, what is the best QPR game I've played in? Uh, oh, it's so tricky, you played in so many. Um, I think probably Liverpool at home, just because the atmosphere was ridiculous at, um, under the lights, unbelievable. So probably, I'd probably say that one. India, I hope you're well. Down in Barnstable, Devon, base QPR fans. See QPR fans everywhere. I hope you're well down in Devon. Right. Steve Gallen took over as caretaker manager in 2009, replacing who? And there was a lot of managers at that time, I know that much. So Steve Gallen took over as caretaker manager in 2009, replacing who? There was loads of managers then, but you might get it. Number 10, the last question in the QPR round is, who was the QPR manager when we won the league? Who was the QPR manager who, when we won the League Cup in 1967? Matthew, I'd love to one day. Let's see what happens. Um, Gavla, favourite away ground I've played at? I think probably Old Trafford. Um, we're just, you know, that's a massive stadium, loads of history. I enjoy playing there. Um, apart from we did get a result there, but um, good place to play. So the last question was, who was the QPR manager when we won the League Cup in 1967? Now, whack it on here. Any questions from any of the rounds you want me to repeat, and then I can go through the answers with you. I hope you've enjoyed the quiz, and I can go through the answers. I know loads have popped up in here, but um, if you're still on, I can go through the answers. So just whack it on here if you're ready for me to crack on.
Phillips family down in West Sussex, come back here yeah. one day. We'll see what happens. Um, I miss it there, so we'll see. Number eight QPR round. Um, okay, number eight in the QPR round was Who Am I? I joined QPR in 2008 following an initial loan and stayed at Loftus Road until 2014. I scored three goals in our 2010 and 11 promotion winning season. General knowledge number six. We clicked from, uh, oh, number six, general knowledge, sorry. <laughs> number eight, keep going around. Five and six round two. Joe, in what, in what round do you want number eight? Five from round two. Okay, what is the UK's largest running quiz show? If you were a manager, that's the best man. The last impression when I scored the goal at Liverpool. Stood there like that. That was because I was on that was because I was on the bench and you know I was obviously a bit younger then and um, even more stupid than I am now, but obviously I wanted to play every game, so I was just like trying to prove a point at the time I think. So got pulled into the office the next day about the celebration. And um, I just said, Mark Hughes at the time, so he was just on me about the celebration. Well, obviously, I didn't care because um, we'd won the game. So I just said, um, well, hopefully I'll start the next game. I won't do that. Question two on round three was, how many goals did I score in our promotion winning season 2010-2011? Eight, nine or 13? Matthew, yeah, Akos was Akos was a really, really good player. Um, yeah, really good player. Valued member of the squad that season and scored important goals. So yeah, very good footballer. Church family, hope you're having a good night um, and I hope you take care of yourselves. Question one, two, and three. What round? Who was the hardest goalkeeper? Uh, hardest goalkeeper I played against. I found them all hard to score against, to be honest. Yeah, if you send, Darren, if you send me your shirt or send it to the club, they'll send it to me and I'll get it signed for you, no problem. Round three. Okay, I scored a late leveller in our 2-2 draw at Derby in 2010 when we came back from 2-0 down, but who got our first goal? My go-to meal before a game, Laura, I change every game. I'm not superstitious. I just eat what I need to eat. That's it. Question five, round three. Where did QPR sign Mark Pugh from? Laura, thank you. That's very kind. Gary, thanks, mate. Top man. <laughs> John, I, you lot will be so bored of me if I repeat the whole quiz, mate, honestly. Um, and I'll probably run out of beers as well. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna go on to the answers, okay? Okay, so number one, what position were Oxford United in? Illy, what's happening, Sean? Look, everyone, Clint Hill's on to see what I'm wearing. I knew he'd be on here checking me out. What a legend, mate. Illy, love you, mate. You're the best. Right, Illy wore a full tux the other day, everyone, didn't he? What a legend. Right, uh, what position were Oxford United in in League One when the season was suspended? The answer is third. We were third. Everyone say cheers, Clint Hills. Um, what a legend, man. Hilly, I hope you've got a drink, pal. A silly question, I'm sure you have. Right, which Premier League side did I face in the FA Cup this season? The answer is Newcastle United. Yeah, Ryan, get in touch with the club and I can get one sent over, no problem. Which manager left his role as Northern Ireland boss early this month? The answer was Michael O'Neill. Laura, Hilly can't fit into this anymore. Nah, I'm joking. He's, he's still a good nick. He could still play. He's an animal. Hilly, was your Wi-Fi dodgy when you did the quiz? You've not been paying your bills, mate. <laughs> 
Eddie Howe is currently the longest serving manager in the Premier League apart from Bournemouth. Which only other club did he manage? The answer is Burnley. Who, number five. Who was bottom of the championship when the season was suspended? The answer is Barnsley. Number six. Which British team has won the European Cup more times than its own domestic top league? The answer is Nottingham Forest. Alan Shearer is the all-time top Premier League goalscorer. How many did he score? 160, 260 or 360? The answer was 260. Oh, Billy, he can have a drink. The boy Hill, don't worry about that. Which Sheffield United striker scored the first goal ever in the Premier League? The answer is Brian Dean. John, need Clint in defence this season. I agree, mate. You wouldn't concede many goals with him at the back, would you? Uh, number nine. With which club did the former QPR striker Peter Crouch end his career? The answer is Burnley. Peter Crouch finished his career with Burnley. Number 10 of the first round is which League One club would you find at the Pirelli Stadium? Burton Albion. Here's the answer. General knowledge. General knowledge. Sean, how are you, pal? Hope you're well. Right. Which Harry Potter film in the longest is the longest in minutes? Charlie, who was the best drinker in the 2010-2011 season? Um, not Deza. Hyder. Uh, who am I doing an impression of? That was Boris Johnson. I don't have the barnet all over the place, but that was, um, that was uh, barn uh, Boris Johnson, yeah. What Christmas song is the most sold music single of all time? The answer is White Christmas, Bill Crosby. I didn't know that one. What is the capital of Iceland, where our Icelandic legend is from, Mr. Heide Helgerson? The answer is Reykjavik. Answer for number one, round two, was Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets. Didn't I say that, no? Amanda, question one on round one, yeah? Or, or round two? You lot are all over the gap here. Right, so number five in the Harry Potter answer was Chamber of Secrets. Chamber of Secrets. Bing Crosby. Right. Number five, what is the UK's longest running quiz show? The answer was University Challenge. Interesting, very interesting. So, number six, who was I doing an impression of? The answer was Neil Warnock, the gaffer. That was my impression. Jack and Kerry, you're not doing very well on the quiz. I'm not surprised. Answer to round one, question three. You're not spinning out. The answer is Michael O'Neill. Right. Lively bunch you like. I tell you what, there's all sorts coming up here. Mark, mum, right. Mark, get off. Mark, get off here, mate. Start lifting. <laughs> mate, I'll lift you out the gym, Mark. How are you, manners? How are you well, pal? Right, I've forgotten where I'm at. Oh, number seven. Okay. ZN is the symbol of which chemical element? The answer is zinc. Take zinc, good for you. Vitamin C and zinc, lovely combo. Keep you well at the minute. Amanda, I don't have a QPR tattoo currently. What does 
Gaiga, I, I can't say it these days, I can't say it now, I said it right earlier. Anyway, it is, it measures radiation. Richard and Moira, I hope you're doing better than you were last week. I hope you're keeping well. Joe and Ian, I hope you're enjoying yourself. The answer was zinc, correct. Paddington Steve, you want some bingo? I did a bingo the other night, bingo quiz, it was right there. Okay, I'm sorry Bradley, I'm running out of time. Right, pork pie, newsboy, bucket and top are all types of what? The answer is hat. Number 10. Oh, they didn't have a number 10, sorry. Okay. QPR round. The answers to the QPR round. The first one is Patrick Aduman. He scored the first goal in the two-all draw when we played. Joe, did I ever get pelted from nil one at loads of times? Casper, thanks for coming on, mate. I hope you're well, guys. Stay in touch. Yeah, you needed your headband looked like this with blood everywhere. I hope you're well, mate. Patrick Adjumwine scored the first goal when we drew two all. I have scored nine goals, this is number two. I have scored nine goals that season when we got promoted, 2010-2011. Number three. Swansea and who else were promoted with us in 2010-2011? The answer is Norwich City. Connor, Frankie and Jack. Have a good evening, lads. I hope you're keeping well. Caroline and Jack. Lewisham. What's going on? I hope you're well. So, number four. Who, were, who wears squad number 19 in the current QPR squad? Was I shocked when we sat Warner? I, I obviously would have liked him to stay on for longer than he did, being honest. And I think, I think we would have been fine, but that's all in the past now. But yeah, at the time... Nothing shocks you in football, but that happens, isn't it? So, number five. Where did QPR sign Mark Pugh from? The answer was Bournemouth. We signed Mark Pugh from Bournemouth. Chris, I can do one and two again, no problem. The answers to one and two were Patrick Adjiman, and I scored nine goals in that season. So, we signed him from Bournemouth, Mark Pugh. Number six, we clinched promotion in 2010 and 11 with a 2-0 win at Watford. Who scored our first goal at Vicarage Road? Number four, I can do again, no problem. Uh, the answer was Tarbs. Tarrat scored the first goal in that game and we got promoted that day. Incredible. The answer to number four, sorry, was Ilias Chair. He wears the number 19 shirt. I keep missing them because I'm answering questions here, so I keep missing them. Number four, Ilya's chair wears number 19 in the current QPR squad. <laughs> yes, Ryan, I missed number four. My bad, I missed number four. I've got busy chatting. I'm, I'm probably the worst quiz master on the planet because I'm getting distracted all the time. What was the answer to, number, to round three, number four? Yeah, in his chair. Okay, cool. So, number seven. Julie, thank you. Number seven. Who did I join after leaving QPR in 2018? And the answer was Oxford United. I'm still there having a great time. Um, I would love the season to start again because we're third in the league. So... Uh, we don't know, obviously, it's more important that everyone's safe, but we'll see what happens. So, okay. Who am I? I joined QPR in 2008 following an initial loan and stayed at Loftus Road until 2014. I scored three goals in our 2010 11 promotion winning season. Who am I? Hogan Ephraim. He started on fire, Hogan, that season, and he was a wicked player. Proper enjoy playing with him, um, good talent. So he was the player. Jeff has asked, What do I think of the beer? Ray? 
I think he's incredible. Um, brilliant player. Um, yeah, great talent. I mean, it's it's good that he's there. I think um, I think he can. Um, obviously, he's going to probably go on any, but um, great player. As soon as I saw him, I thought really good, really good player. So um, let's see what happens. Steve Gannon took over as caretaker manager in 2000. Steve Gannon took over as caretaker manager in 2009, replacing who? The answer is Jim Magilton. I don't think that ended well, but um, he took over from Jim Magilton. Who, number 10, and the last one, who was the QPR manager when we won the League Cup in 1967? The answer is Alex Stock. How uh, did you all get on? I've seen loads of answers on here. I'm so sorry, I'm such a bad quiz master, but I'm getting carried away with all the questions and um, I was trying to answer as many as possible. So um, let me know if you want any more. Who is better, Easy or Adele? Ah, oh, it's such a tough one because um, Easy's kind of like newer on the scene, but he's definitely got traits that um, you don't see in many players that I saw in Adele, which is like an ability to like, win a game on his own. Just an incredible talent, so I think he's got a, a massively bright future in the game. And he's got a great head on his shoulders, so I think he's going to do well. 21 out of 30 is a good effort. 30, yeah, Will, come on, mate. 30 out of 29. Amanda, thank you very much. Stuart, you've got two right. I hope you had a QPR once. Gavla, don't surprise me, mate. I hope everyone had a great time. Look, I'm so buzzing they invited me on. I've had a really good time. 15 out of 29, not bad, especially with me, uh, me telling the questions. It's hard work. Kieran, I hope you're well, mate. Like I say, I hope everyone stays safe and I look forward to getting back to football and I hope you get the chance to watch QPR again this season. If not, get behind them next season. I'm sure there's good things to come in the future, so I'll see you all down there. I can answer some more questions for five minutes if you want. Nick, thanks mate. No problem everyone, I hope you had a good time. 25 out of 30 strong, Ryan. Stanley, 16, love it mate. Suzanne, thank you for coming on. Who's on next? Do you, who do you lot want to see on the quiz next? You've got to shout it up and you'll get someone on there, no problem. By popular demand, you'll get someone else on there. Get, you, you've got to call out Sean Derry. You've got to try and get Sean Derry on here for a quiz. Unbelievable fella, and he'll make you laugh, so try and get him on. The Hot Tub Boys of Windsor, love it. 25 out of 29. Stanley, see you, mate. Tony, thanks for coming on, pal. Big Up Ashcombe, Chris Harrow, love it mate. Ryan, Brian Clough, there, Neil Warner, not far off. David, oh yeah, that was a good day at um, Asper. Mikey, Hilly, are you still on? Is Hilly still on? Um, Kate, I hope that did enjoy, I hope you, that did cheer you up, that's the main thing, it's tough at the minute, I hope everyone can try and laugh at some point. Reggie, I hope you're good man, stay safe and um, we'll see you at football soon pal. Who's my best friend in football? It's so hard to say, I'm lucky I've made some great friends, I'll, te I'll tell you now, i made some incredible friends who are my friends for life for, at QPR in like... Bradley or Clint Hill, Sean Derry, Joey Barton, Heidi Helgerson. We're, we're super tight, we speak all the time. They're good pals of mine. I've met loads of other friends there who, who I really enjoy um, playing with and, and being pals with. In the later squads, I'm good friends with Sean Goss and Jack Robinson, other lads like that, you know, they're tight friends of mine. And um, I'm lucky in football, you know, I've, I've met, a lot of, uh, met a lot of lads. I've had a long career, so. Oh, I'm very lucky to have a lot of friends with football. Mark Hughes, my best friend in football. 
Nah, not him. <laughs> Holloway is quiz master. He'll be brilliant. He'll be brilliant. Get tr you lot have got to try and campaign to get Holloway on. He's a great laugh, Ollie. I, I really enjoy playing with him. Great character. So he'll be class as quiz master. You'll like him on there. Yeah, Andrew, Ollie Quizmaster with quality. Or Deza. You've got to get, you, we've got plenty more weeks like this, unfortunately, so you need to get Deza on or, or, or Ollie. That would be really good. Stanley, all the best, pal. The biggest shit I've ever played against. I've played against plenty of them, mate, these days. Not the same. Aiden, hope you're cool, mate. Yeah, like I say, if you guys want someone as the quiz master, you've just got to um, you just got to shout it up to the team, and they'll get whoever you want, or they'll try and get whoever they can who can do it. Joe, yeah, I've done one of my coaching badges. Um, I've still got more to do, but we'll see what it brings. Richard, thanks, mate. Exit City. That was a long time ago, but yeah, I enjoyed it there. I played with an amazing set of lads there, and we're. We're good friends now, so I enjoyed it. Ollie, you've got... Mark, thanks, mate. You've definitely got to get Ollie on here. Unbelievable. I'm going to finish off with a TikTok dance. I don't know if I can get my leg up there anymore. The only bit I can do, really, is... That was a good crap, mate. The um, the TikTok dance, I enjoyed it. Ryan, have a good evening. I'm watching tonight. They've got it in pause in there with the kids. Britain's Got Talent. I love it. There's so many characters who come on there. I know I need to get a life, but that's where I'm at at the minute. The kids love it, so I'll be in there and I'll um, I'll be impersonating a few of them in there as well. I like it. I've had a, Dan. I've had a lockdown haircut. Yeah, I took it off myself. Terrible, isn't it? Andrew, let me know when it is. I'll try and jump on it. Steve, I'm glad you enjoyed the quiz. Sorry, mate. My, um, I'm not very good as a quiz master, but I hope you enjoyed it. Right, so for the next one, good luck for the rest of the season at Oxford. Thank you, Paul. We've got a great team there, so hopefully we can get playing again with third at the minute. So I don't know what they're going to do in the league. But... Brian, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it, mate. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks, Joe. I'll be at Loftus Road next year. I, I come to all the games that I can come to, so hopefully I can bump into you all when I'm there. I only live around the corner, so when I'm not playing, I come to the games. I'll bring my little boy, I'll bring, bring one of my pals. I love it there, so... Any game I can get to, I get to, I enjoy it. Joanne, thank you. I don't think I'm a great quiz master, I'll be honest, but I enjoy being on it with you guys. Lanzarote. Hola. Take care. Scott, glad you enjoyed it, Pam. Stay safe, yeah? Have a good weekend if you can. Joe, thank you, mate. Swedish hoops, that's what I mean, it's hoops everywhere, it's unbelievable. All the best in Sweden, I hope you're good. Who's my favourite Ava James Bond? Sean Connery. Sean Connery. He's my favourite James Bond. Sean Connery. Is that a good impression? I like Sean Connery. Gavlar, whenever I see you, pal, I'd love a beer. Talk about Rangers, mate, all day long. What would I do when Britain's Got Talent? Oh, I do all, I, I come on here in a minute, I'll go into the front room with the kids and I'll do all that. I say, do you reckon I'd get through? And they say, no, you get three, oh, you get four X's straight away. And I say, no, I'll get the golden buzzer. I don't know what I do. I do some mental dances out. I wouldn't do any keeper maps, I can't do them. Bethany, I hope you're well. Are you retiring at the end of the season? To be honest with you, it's all a bit up in the air. My contract's up. I'd love to play on one more year. 
um, at Oxford. So I'm sort of speaking to the club, but obviously there's there's more important issues for them at the minute because of finances and what's happening. So if I get the opportunity to stay there, I'd love to. I'm really enjoying um, playing with the lads there and playing for the club. So let's hope so. Right, everyone, have a cracking night. Um, if there's any more questions, fire them up. Um, but I'll let you crack on because you're probably well bored of me in mental clobber on your screen. So just want to say, I hope you all stay safe. Loads of love. And um, I'll see you down at Loftus Road whenever I come down there next. So have a great, have a great evening. Stay safe. That's the most important thing. And um, thanks for coming on. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, Gavla, get in touch, mate. Big T12, big T12. The winner against Liverpool, I can't describe that. It was incredible. What an evening, mate. What an evening. Stanley, stay safe, mate. Gavla, stay safe. Thanks for coming on, pal. Best player I've played with is Adele Tarrat, hands down. Nick, um, try and get in touch with me somehow and we can do something, of course. Kate, if you get in touch with the QPR press team, then we can try and get something that sorted, hopefully. Tony, have a good night, mate. David, see you, pal. Talk here, yeah? Chris, nice one. Thanks for coming on. Anna, any time. I really enjoyed it. I hope you had a nice evening, bit of fun. Hopefully put a smile on your face for a little bit. Julie, take care. Take care, mate. Yeah, and to you and all your family. Everyone stay safe, yeah? That's the main thing at the minute. We'll get back to football and you can have a good time again, but everyone stay safe. Um, Nick, I'm not on Facebook. I'm on Twitter. So you can get hold of me on Twitter. No problem. So, um, David, thank you, mate. Cheers, Rich. Laura, take care. Charlie, I'll enjoy it. Saturday night. Try and relax, mate. Laura, no problem. Thanks, Mark. Thanks for coming on. Cheers, Terry. What a tune, mate. Martin, see you, mate. <laughs> I can't sing that, so it's not for me to sing, but I love it, anyway. Leicester away, yeah, wow. That was a hell of a game. Shout out to Dorkin. I used to live on Roman Road, yeah? Wow, mate. Greg, what's happening, mate? I hope you're well, mate. Iceland. Heide Helgson's the king. I speak to him the whole time. What a ledge. Hope you're all well in Iceland. Dan, I'm glad you enjoyed the quiz, mate. We're all good. Family's all good. Wishing all my love to you and your family. Stay safe, yeah? Thanks for coming on. James, thanks, mate. Will do. Have a good evening yourself, mate, and a good weekend. Make sure you stay safe. What was the first single I bought? Oh, I don't know. I think it might have been Oasis, one of, one of their albums, I think. I'm not really into my music. I'm old of it. Forever's Hours Golf Day. Yeah, maybe I'll be there. I enjoyed it last time. It was really good fun. So if, if I come, I came with um, Amit last year. It was a great time, so... Thank you in Iceland. Honestly, take care over there. James, have a good one, mate. Glad you enjoyed it. Right, everyone, I'm out. You're probably 100% bored of me now, so have a great evening. Stay safe. See you all soon. Take care. You want to dance? You can't really see me all in dance, so I've got mental dance, man. Best manager I play for. Well, I enjoy playing for Neil Warnock the best, mate, I'll be honest with you. James, what's happening, mate? Gavlar, 
See you, pal. You take care, yeah? Enjoy your weekend. Gary, see you, pal. They'll keep flowing, mate, tonight, no problem. See you all later. Neil Warnock's a ledge, yeah. Neil Warnock's a ledge. Stephen, stay safe, mate. Harrison. How are you, mate? I hope you're well. Stay safe, pal. Cheers, Gary. Bye, everyone. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. Cheers, Tony. Um, Get hold of me on Twitter, mate, and I'll try and get one sent over to you, no problem. Cheers, Kurt. The beeping did stop, Laura. I don't know what that was. David, cheers, pal. I am a nutter. <laughs>